Good morning, Jippy. Good morning, Mr. Blip. How may I assist you today? What are some haunted places in the world? There are many reportedly haunted places around the world, some of which have gained notoriety for their ghostly legends and stories. Here are a few examples. Tower of London, England, this medieval fortress is said to be haunted by the ghosts of former prisoners, including Anne Boleyn, who was executed here. Edinburgh Castle, Scotland, this ancient fortress is said to be haunted by various ghosts, including a headless drummer and a piper who disappeared in the castle's tunnels. Aokigahara Forest, Japan, this forest, also known as the Sea of Trees, is said to be haunted by the ghosts of those who have committed suicide here. The catacombs of Paris, France, these underground tunnels contain the remains of millions of people and are said to be haunted by the spirits of the dead. The Stanley Hotel, Colorado, USA, this historic hotel inspired Stephen King's novel The Shining and is said to be haunted by several ghosts, including the ghost of a former housekeeper. The Island of the Dolls, Mexico, this island is covered in dolls, many of which are said to be possessed by the spirits of the dead. The Myrtles Plantation, Louisiana, USA, this plantation is said to be haunted by several ghosts, including the ghost of a former slave who was hung from a tree on the property. These are just a few examples, but there are many other reportedly haunted places around the world with their own unique ghostly legends and stories. Tell me about the Island of Dolls in Mexico. The Island of the Dolls, or Isla de los Municas in Spanish, is a small island located in the Xochimilco Canals in Mexico City, Mexico. The island is covered with dolls, many of which are said to be possessed by the spirits of the dead. The story behind the island is that it was once the home of a man named Don Julian Santana Barrera, who lived there alone. One day, he found the body of a young girl in the canal and was haunted by her spirit. To appease her, he began collecting dolls and hanging them from the trees on the island, believing that the dolls would protect him from evil spirits. Over time, he amassed a large collection of dolls, which he continued to add to until his death in 2001. Today, the island of the dolls is a popular tourist destination, with visitors coming to see the eerie dolls and learn about the island's haunted history. Some believe that the dolls move on their own and have heard the whispers of the spirits that reside on the island. Despite its reputation as a haunted place, the island remains a popular attraction for those looking to experience its unique and eerie atmosphere. That's quite intriguing. Yes, it is a very interesting and eerie place with a fascinating history. The Island of the Dolls has become a popular destination for those interested in paranormal activity, ghost stories, or just the macabre. Its collection of creepy dolls hanging from the trees creates a haunting and unsettling atmosphere, making it an unforgettable experience for those who visit. Whether or not the dolls are truly possessed by spirits is up for debate, but there is no denying the eerie and unsettling feeling that pervades the island. What are the geographical coordinates of this island? The geographical coordinates of the Island of the Dolls are approximately 19.2664 degrees north, 99.0986 degrees west. Is the island open for tourists all the year round? Yes, the Island of the Dolls is open to tourists throughout the year. It has become a popular tourist destination and is open to the public daily, with visitors able to take guided tours of the island and see the collection of dolls hanging from the trees. However, it's worth noting that the island can be difficult to reach, as it is located in the Xochimilco canals, so visitors may need to hire a boat to reach it. Are there any native inhabitants of the island? The island of the dolls is uninhabited by permanent residents, but there are some people who work on the island to maintain it and guide visitors. The island is owned by the family of Don Julian Santana Barrera, who started the collection of dolls on the island, and they continue to manage the island and maintain the dolls.
In addition, there are tour guides and boat operators who work in the Zachimilko canals and bring tourists to the island. However, there are no permanent or native inhabitants of the Island of the Dolls. How to visit this place after reaching Mexico? To visit the Island of the Dolls, you will need to travel to Mexico City, which is where the island is located. Once you are in Mexico City, the best way to reach the island is by taking a boat tour of the Xochimilco canals. To get to Xochimilco, you can take the subway or a taxi to the Embarcadero station, which is the main dock for the boats. From there, you can hire a boat to take you to the Island of the Dolls, which is about a 30-minute boat ride from the dock. It's recommended that you hire a tour guide or take a guided tour of the canals, as the area can be confusing and it's easy to get lost. Also, a guide can give you more information about the history of the Island of the Dolls and the legends surrounding it. Finally, it's important to note that the Xochimilco canals can get quite busy, especially on weekends and holidays, so it's best to plan your visit during a quieter time if possible. Let me add it to my bucket list. It's definitely a unique and interesting destination to add to your bucket list. The Island of the Dolls has a fascinating history and an eerie atmosphere that is sure to leave a lasting impression on visitors. Just make sure to plan ahead and take the necessary precautions to ensure a safe and enjoyable visit. Thank you for the interesting information, Jippy. You're welcome, Mr. Blip. It was my pleasure to assist you with your questions. If you have any other questions or need any further assistance, don't hesitate to ask. Bye until next time. Goodbye, Mr. Blip. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything in the future. Have a great day.